Hello, I'm JP. In this video, I'm sharing my experience going on a supercar multi-day tour with the Altitude Drivers Club ADC. Originally, I was not going to be able to make the ADC Wales supercar tour as the dates clashed with something else I had already agreed to attend, but my plans changed. Fortunately, I received an email from ADC about a last minute cancellation place that had come available. Before I tell you about this trip, I wanna let you know that I have some exciting news to share about my multi-country trip in my AMG GTS that I'll be completing in two weeks time. They'll see me visit several major European cities. The plan is that I'll be sharing this trip with you on this channel. Anyway, back to the Wales tour, starting from the official pre-event hotel, just on the outskirts of Kidderminster, Hogarthstone Manor, where members who were not local stayed the night before. We were all asked to be pre-fueled and ready to leave for 8.30. There was a Shell petrol station less than two miles from the starting point and on my route, so I filled up with Shell v, v Power, used my app to get my discount off my purchases and picked up a coffee. Everyone was given a set event brochure at the safety briefing which had the details of the three days. The morning drive, which was split into two groups, with both groups having an experienced lead driver. Group one had Mark and his Porsche GT3, and group two had Mike and his Audi R8 V10. Communications were supported by the use of a Mitex radios, and I had also purchased an earpiece adapter, which was brilliant. Lunch was at the Plough in Ladinlo, uh, where we had our own area for the group. The afternoon saw the group travel through South Wales, taking in some amazing roads. Uh, we had mainly sunshine, but there was a couple of heavy showers that Friday afternoon. It proved annoying for a couple of convertibles that were in the group, but let's face it, we are in the UK. Arriving at the evening at the hotel in Clangod Hall, we parked up, checked into our rooms, all of which were fabulous, and headed to the bar and then to the restaurant for the evening. It had been a long day and exciting driving, so once I'd finished my meal, I headed off for an early night, as we all had an early start the next morning again. After we'd parked up, the ADC photographer took some more stills and drone footage of the cars. ADC share all the images, which is absolutely great. I personally have some super shots of, and videos that I would not have had them otherwise. Day two saw us head off into the direction of both wells and then across towards the coast through mid Wales. I'd say engines are on and everybody's here and we're all just about to head off, which looks like an absolutely amazing day for it. So we head off from here. I think we end up going to Barmouth at some point and then uh, we finish the evening over towards Lake Verme. So looking forward to uh, this run. We stopped for a break halfway through the morning. If you've not seen some of the amazing roads that Wales has to offer, you really are missing out. One of my favourite sections on the whole trip was that second day. After lunch, we turned right into after Bala and headed over the top of the hills towards Lanvatlin. Before turning off up to Lake Verme, where we stayed for that final night. The second day was perfect weather all day and in fact the balcony of the hotel was the perfect finishing point for the day um, after checking in. The hotel had plenty of parking for all of us and comfortable rooms. Mine had the most amazing view overlooking the lake. The third and final day saw us head north into Snowdonia and some of the most scenic roads of the whole trip. Roads were considerably busier that day. That's to be expected as this area is a tourist and drivers and riders hotspot. And this weekend was the first great weekend weather-wise of the year. After lunch, we all headed on our own routes home. For me, this was a memorable trip uh, for all the right reasons. All the fellow drivers and co-drivers were friendly and a great company to be about. Mike and Mark who own ADC and organize and run the ADC trips delivered well and truly above expectations and I'm absolutely looking forward to joining them later in the year on their NC500 tour of Scotland that I've already booked on. Before that I'm now finishing the final planning stages of my drive across Europe in my AMG GTS, something that I'm very excited about and I plan to share that journey with you so hopefully you'll subscribe to see those videos. 
I'll be traveling through France, Germany, Switzerland and Italy. Each day I plan to share highlights, good or bad, and my thoughts as I complete the trip. I hope you'll be able to catch the next video. Thanks for watching. JP out.